Ronnell Nolan, President, CEO, Health Agents for America, coming to you live this Monday. If you are watching this Monday morning news, then you're going to be updated on the strategy that HAFA is doing as far as saving our industry. If you're not, then you probably have no idea what I'm up to. But know that my doors are always open and there's always a method to the madness, always. I've got some good news. And the good news is that we have a presidential election. And regardless who wins, there'll be a change at the top at CMS. Now, it could remain Democrat, it could change and become Republican. Regardless, we'll have new folks to talk to and bring our stories to. I have never in my career, and I've been in the business since I was 18 years old, never in my career have I seen our industry being hit from all sides. It's happening. Does that mean that you give up? Because I see some folks on Facebook saying, Ronnell, I just don't want to do it anymore. Do not let them win. Do not. We are going to stand up and we're going to fight. Things have happened before in the past that we didn't know if we could survive and we survived. I promise you, we are going to survive. I'm going to make sure of it or it's going to be the last dying thing that I do. I'm going to make sure. Now, the good news is that, again, regardless, we're going to have new, new leaders at the top. The bad news is there's a lot of things happening to our industry. Well care is not paying commissions. I got a message this morning, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Arkansas, and decided not to pay commissions on the Medicare Part D products. Now, the story that I've been told by WellCare doesn't pass the smell test and it shouldn't pass it for you either. They can't blame part of it on CMS and part of it on regulations and not taking full responsibility that they did not have to pay money they thought they were gonna pay and not pay as commissions, that they are, have reduced the premium to zero so yes, the Inflation Reduction Act, the, you know, the $2,000 max on plans that we thought going to the Hill was going to raise rates. That's what we thought. Well, WellCare has come out with $0 plans. Did they raise their rates? No. Did they change their formularies? I'm not sure yet. So without us professionals helping seniors, being their voice, or are they going to enroll in a $0 plan that does not cover their medication? That's to be seen. If you do not sign and recertify with WellCare, they have said, we're gonna take your clients, we're gonna encourage them all to go to Medicare Advantage because that's where we make our money, um, and they're not gonna be your clients anymore. Well, read my lips. Our clients are our clients. They do not belong to an insurance company. They do not belong to any EDE. They do not belong to um, CMS. They are your clients. You enroll them, you have the relationship. Now, what WellCare has said is if next year we decide to start paying commissions, then your clients would be your clients and then you would um, you know, get paid commissions at that time. Now, I had an agent from Connecticut reach out and say, well, Ronnell, I'm very worried about the legal uh, ramifications. If I recertify, I'm not paying, getting paid commissions. They're not my clients officially, but they are. Um, they do something and then I get sued because I'm their listing agent. I didn't think about that. That's something you need to think about. You may need to, you know, to contact an attorney. You might need to contact Hoffa's uh, legal counsel, Dicerous Law in Washington, D.C. But you need to find out what works for you. Uh, but 
the insurance companies more and more are using that as an excuse. I would call on CMS to stand up and say, if you care about seniors so much, then allow them to keep the professional that assists them in this complicated decision of picking a plan that covers their medication. That's the first thing. The second thing that is driving me and our attorney insane is the fact that good agents certifications to sell ACA are being pulled without them doing anything wrong. They're being stopped from selling ACA. The insurance company is being notified and they're not being paid commissions. So basically the letter says something to the extent we've looked at five, you know, plans. Um, we are not sure they're fraudulent or anything, you know, uh, but we'd like to see your consent. Some of the consent they're asking for for 2021 when, when consent forms were not cre even created. Yes, we were getting consents in our own way. Um, that's one thing that they're asking for. But the majority of the times where an agent responds and asks how, when, why, what can I do, it's crickets or a form letter that does not have, does not help. Uh, the one time that we had an attorney involved, the letter that they gave the attorney was, well, you can file a Freedom of Information Act um, and try to get the information. No, you're taking a good agent's livelihood. They're having to let their staff go. You're getting rid of us and why? We didn't do anything wrong, but yet they're still the bad agents that are out there that are doing wrong. I'm still getting notifications on the hop, the hop of fraud reporting tool that people are still committing fraud. So the, the things that CMS is doing, hitting everything with a sledgehammer is obviously not working except for it's putting good agents out of business. Do not stay quiet, raise your voice, get loud, be proud of what you do. What you do is important. Now there's a lot of things that are we're working on, especially um, let's talk about the Medicare Part D issue. We have a petition. Sign that petition, send it to your um, family, friends, clients. Everybody deserves a, an insurance agent and everybody deserves to get paid if they are an insurance agent. Why do people in Washington and insurance companies think that we should work for free? Who else works for free? It's not fair. It's wrong on every way. And that's why Hoffa is working so closely with our DC attorney to raise the issue. So we have the petition. We have done PSAs. I've been interviewed by the Wall Street Journal. We'll be inter um, interviewed by Kaiser News tomorrow when I travel to Washington, DC. We have letters going out. We have everything that you can imagine, it's, it's, we are on it. If you think we're not, you're not paying attention. We are on it. Um, but there's a method again to my madness, because remember we have a couple of months left before we have a new president. There's not a whole lot of things that are going to happen except us getting things on the radar. So we need to scream. I mean, you can write your own letters. I encourage you to, somebody reached out this morning and said, should I write my um, state government? Absolutely. Write your state government, write your um, department of insurance, write you know, your, um, those in your state on the Hill, write everybody, explain to them what's going on. If something bad happens, let me know. Because if I don't know, I can't help you. So I need to know. So know that we're doing a lot of things. We've created white papers about taking the uh, certifications. All the things that are happening to us, we are taking packets um, to Washington, D.C. I'm meeting with uh, two legislators tomorrow for a cocktail hour um, where I'll, I'll be bringing our information. I'm going back on the 23rd, 24th, 25th, um, meeting with more legislators. And then on the 17th, speaking in Miami at the ACA Way, in which I'm gonna moderate a panel with Blue Cross, not Blue Cross, with CMS, and then 
I'm going to moderate a panel with James Napoli, our attorney, and Greg Thomas, um, someone from the Florida Department of Insurance Fraud who has been so helpful and so on the um, whole issue, it's not even funny. So those two presentations are gonna be amazing. I hope you're gonna be there and there's gonna be a QR code and I hope you ask the hard questions. Um, we need to make sure that our voice is heard. Absolutely, voice is heard. Hoffa will have a table, James will have a table so you can come and visit. Um, but just know that the things I do might not always seem what, like what you would do or how you would do it. Just know I've been doing this for a very, very, very long time. And you can fax letters and you can email letters and that all works to your advantage. However, handing a letter and them looking me in the eyes and explaining why they can't help our industry is priceless. And that's what I'm gonna do for you. And that's what I'm not gonna stop until we get the attention that we need. So I'm going over my 10 minute limit just a little bit, but uh, blessed to be your president CEO. Love every one of you. I think you're amazing. Welcome to all our new members. It's so great to have everyone joining our army, becoming a ninja warrior, and saving our industry. So please have a wonderful week. Um, keep Louisiana and all the states that are being affected by crazy weather. I think we have a hurricane headed our way, but um, in maybe parts of Texas. So a lot of things happen across the nation, not only in our industry, but with weather and things. So much love to everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and a wonderful week.